Hi, Damien here. One of the questions I get all the time, I've got lots of friends who are business owners and they're like, Damien, I'd love to invest in property, but I don't think I can because on paper, I look like I haven't earned anything. Now, one thing that a lot of business owners do is they do tax minimalization. Because they have a business, they can wash a lot of things through their business. For example, things like telephones, cars, um, you know, office space at home. They can, they can sublet to the business and they pay themselves indirectly in all sorts of other ways so that on paper they look like they're making a lot less than they actually are. Director's drawings, uh, they can borrow money off their company, pay it back later, all sorts of little strategies like that, right? So this can create a bit of a problem. Now, if you are a business owner and you're making good money and you want to do something with it, well, you know, a property is a great place to put that money. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do with it? Well, this is what you need to do. First of all, you need to have been in business for about two years. If you've been in business for two years, most of the banks will lend you money. There is one bank that will lend you money after one year that I know of. Okay, second of all, you need to have been making a clear profit uh, in your business. So both years, those businesses need to, or your business needs to be profitable in both years. And then there's a little secret magic thing called addbacks. Okay, addbacks, what are addbacks? Well, addbacks are what a mortgage broker can use to demonstrate to the bank that you're actually earning more money than you really are. For example, if you only paid yourself um, $37,000 perhaps, or $80,000, you know, most business owners will pay themselves up to one of the tax thresholds, then there might be other things that you did in your business that can be added on top of your income. For example, uh, phone bills, car repayments, anything like that but also any major acquisitions that you could have potentially paid yourself as a profit. For example, if you bought a vehicle for 30 grand and you paid cash for it, well, and you didn't really need it, but you want it, the broker may be able to convince the bank that in that year, that 30 grand acquisition could have been 30 grand salary to you if, uh, if you had decided to go the other way. So if you use, you've made a decision to reinvest into your business and grow your business, a good broker can get that through. At the moment, it is very tough out there in lending land and the criteria is really, really tight. But if you are a business owner, you need to start having a relationship with a mortgage broker. And we've got a great mortgage broker that you can talk to who's good with business. And you need to start getting an understanding of where, what settings you need in terms of your income in order to get an investment property. Now, I know a lot of business owners who've made good money in business, but they're missing out on making massive money in property investing. They've got homes with heaps of equity that they've used their business to pay down, and they've got hundreds of thousands of dollars of lazy equity that they could be putting into investment properties and making even more money, but they can't because they've got the income settings wrong. So it's a really important thing to think about. So if you're a business owner and you think you can do something, get in touch and let's get started. Cheers.